Hi, Jonathan Pickup. I've been teaching VectorX for a long time. One of my courses was the design of this project here to go through step by step from start to finish how to construct a complete building with renovations and demolition and proposed design changes. So one of the problems I've got is if you wanted to redesign the kitchen in this area, how do you focus your work on just that kitchen? Well, let me show you. First of all, I'm going to go back to the correct floor layer, which is my second floor. I'm going to hide the other layers because that's going to make it really quick and easy. And then I've got this area in here. This is where my kitchen should be. I'm going to turn on the required classes for that. And a quick way to turn on all the classes is the option click in this column or the alt click in that column if you're on a Windows machine. There are some classes that I don't want, so I'll use my visibility tool to get rid of those. That's this one up here. There's a keyboard shortcut which I use all the time, which is just the letter V. So I get rid of those. So there's my kitchen. Now I can start working on my kitchen. I get into my kitchen. I want to start playing with all my cabinets. But you'll notice that my kitchen is in a group. When I double click on the group, you'll notice that all the other objects in the layer disappear. And the reason for that is that there's a preference in Vectorworks, which is this one here, which is to hide or show other objects while in editing modes. Now I can turn that back on and I can still see all my other objects. And there's also a Vectorworks preference for that which is under display with this one here, show other objects. And you can turn that off so that they actually don't appear to be different. Now, that's not my preference. My preference is to have gray other objects turned on so I know what's inside the group and what's outside the group. But there are still times where I don't want to see the other objects. I find them distracting, which is what this preference up here is really good for. You click on it, they disappear. And now I've got access to those groups. So there's the possibility you might want to move, say, all this information here. A good idea is to put that in a group as well. The modify group command also has a keyboard shortcut, which I use all the time, which is control or command G. Now that puts all that stuff in a group. So if I decide to move it, then it moves all of that information. You see, I lost one of those. So let's just have, oh, yes, I lost that one. So let's, let's cut that. Let's double click to enter my group. And now I'm going to use one of my other favorites, which is paste in place. I use this one so often. It's got a keyboard shortcut again, which I really like to use. And I'm going to make sure I send that to the back, which is a send to back. I often use that as a keyboard shortcut. This is a cabinet. I should also send that to the back. So I'll just use my keyboard shortcut. It's gone and it's at the back. So now you can see I can move this information or I can edit this cabinet. So here you can see these cabinets, really easy to see. I can work on these cabinets. If I exit my group, not so easy because I've got the stuff in the way and I don't get a clear idea of what those cabinets do. I move here, I move here. Ah, oh, it's so difficult. Let's put that in a group. Let's enter the group and hey presto, we can see everything. We can look at a front elevation and we can see exactly what we want to see. So that's my strategy for putting stuff in groups. I use it a lot. You can also, if you want, put that group onto a specific class like I've got here. That way, when you turn the class on, all the information inside the group turns on or it all turns off if you don't want to see it. Thanks for watching. I hope you really enjoyed that. If you'd like to see more of these types of things, don't forget to become a subscriber to my website. But the best thing is to become a member so that you can see extended movies like this, so that you can attend workshops where every month I will teach you fundamental stuff that's going to change the way you use Vectorworks. See you later.